Hi, hello and welcome to another Excel training video and my name is Ken Atagari. I've got my pretty logo over here trying to demonstrate what I want to achieve. So the to this our topic for today is ActiveX control properties restricting values in your combo box drop down. You would imagine that if you've set up your combo box to have got to have um, values just way, the way you just like the way you do with data validation, you would expect that these values are like sancrosanct. Is it sank or sacrosanct? Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. Sancrosanct. Wherein if you try to put in a value here, it will reject the value. But unfortunately, when you do come out, you find out that it did accept the value. So over here you can see you've now got an error value for the event type that this um, this combo box is trying to look out for. So how do you prevent users from being able to insert new values into this place? How do you restrict it to just only the values that have been listed here? Right? How because Sometimes when you're building forms, this can actually affect your database, the databases, if you're not able to restrict the um, the values being entered into the drop-down and then someone puts in the wrong value. So how do we restrict this? Um, first of all, go over to your developer part of the ribbon, design mode, click on your combo box, right click, properties I'm going to pull this here right then look for match so match required yes that's true don't be in a hurry to leave yet you're not done uh, come over to style and also click on this you'll see from style drop down list. Okay. Then exit. Exit the design mode. Come into your drop down. Pick CD4. I'm going to try making a change now. You'll see it won't work. See? I'm trying to force something in. But no, it's not working. Right. And now we've succeeded in locking our drop down hope you enjoyed this video uh, and join me for some other video tutorial on active x control thank you see you later